Welcome to the WebBikeWorld.com video tour of the new North American DOT version of the Schuberth C3 flip-up motorcycle helmet. Please visit WebBikeWorld.com for the full review and detailed photos of this helmet and many more. We've reviewed many Schuberth helmets on WebBikeWorld.com, going all the way back to the C2 and including the Schuberth J1, R1, and S1, all of which were available in Europe only. Schuberth has now made a big commitment to North America with new headquarters in California for distribution and support and I'm sure we'll see many new helmets from the company in the future. This is the third Schuberth C3 variant we reviewed on webbikeworld.com. We reviewed the ECE version of the C3 and more recently the C3 with the Schuberth SRC Bluetooth system. All of those reviews are available on webbikeworld.com and the videos are right here on our YouTube channel. The best news about the DOT version of the C3 is it looks, feels, and operates identical to, if not better than, the European versions of the C3 we reviewed. Every new C3 we try seems better than the one before, and this example is one of the most solid feeling flip-ups ever. It's beautifully made with a high quality surface finish and a thick clear coat, and all of the moving parts operate with a precise feel. Now if only Schuberth would bring the high visibility yellow versions to North America, well, hopefully that will be soon. The face shield on the C3 is the familiar large Schuberth design. It has a small detent that allows a tiny defogging position, and then it opens up for a total of six detents. It also has dual lift tabs, one on either side. The face shield has a precise movement, and it doesn't twist when it's lifted. It also is very easy to remove. Lift it up, push the levers forward on both sides simultaneously, and it pops right off. To reinstall the face shield, slide both sides into the receiver slots in the rotating mechanisms on either side of the helmet, then rotate the face shield down and it will catch and slide in. It's a simple and effective system with minimal parts and a nice low profile. The top vent opens and closes with a slider that's fairly easy to find when wearing gloves. The vent is in the form of an air scoop that directs air through two holes in the EPS over the rider's head and although it looks small, it provides a decent amount of airflow. The C3 does not have rear exhaust vents, but it does have a system to limit CO2 buildup inside the helmet. The chin vent on the C3 works very well. Again, this is standard C3 design, and it's comparable to the European version of the C3. The chin vent snaps open and closed, and although the air has a slightly convoluted pathway, the system provides excellent ventilation. The internal sunshade operates with a slider on the lower left-hand side, and it works very smoothly on this helmet. The visor rotates down out of the rider's line of sight and it can be stopped in any position and the lower edge is nearly straight. Also note that the C3 comes with a pinlock anti-fog insert installed and it's been working very nicely in our current cold winter weather. The C3 has the oversized Schuberth neck roll which seals the bottom of the helmet and it may feel a bit unusual to new Schuberth owners but it helps keep noise levels low. The helmet has a central button to open the rotating visor. Metal posts are located on either side to lock the rotating chin bar, and the system feels very secure when the visor is closed. The headliner is a bit on the thin side, and the ear pockets are surprisingly shallow. We're assuming Schuberth will develop an SRC system for North America, perhaps with the next generation of Cardo Electronics. So the big news here is no news. The Schuberth C3 is still one of the most solid, quiet, and lightweight flip-up helmets available in its new DOT form, with no noticeable differences from the European C3 that has been so popular. For more details, photos, and the full discussion on the DOT version of the Schuberth C3 helmet and more than 150 detailed helmet reviews, please visit webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.